Hello my esteemed viewers, thank you for watching my short video from my study on vulnerability of HIV amongst the Borona pastoral community. That was carried out on the basis of the framework developed in 1993 by Ball and Watts. As such, I intended to explore if HIV is a threat, what are the facilitators perceived consequences and coping mechanisms, if any, amongst this study population. Data was collected using key informant interview, in-depth interview, and focus group discussions. Data so collected was analyzed using uh, Max QDA version 10, and specific themes and sub-themes were developed in order to guide the analysis. The study finding shows that life in town mobility and drinks at marketplaces are found to be as threats for vulnerability. It was found that facilitators of HIV infection amongst the Borona pastoral community were functions that were given to uh, men as responsible to water livestock, look for pastors, and sell livestock in marketplaces while women are staying at home extramarital sexual partnership, which is not guided by biological desires, but by social, economic, and the cultural drives. It was also realized that failure to use available services for lack of information were facilitators of uh, HIV infection. Consequences were found to be diverse. First of all, those who are believed to have HIV are emaciated getting thinner and thinner, and consequently for fear of stigma, they run away from the local community. They lose social ties, relationships amongst uh, the family as well as the community. And secondly, the community feels like they are losing their strong men from the community. Coping mechanisms amongst the Burana pastoral community was found to be the local structure, which is the Gada structure, where the messenger, which is called Makala, who is believed to share news to the local community that's coming from the Gada leader, was not used. Secondly, condom is believed as probably the best solution uh, amongst the community. Unfortunately, lack of relevant information and how this compromises with their desire to have children is not known enough. This is one of the problem. And, and thirdly, it was believed that there are different uh, stakeholders that are uh, running in their own direction. But if those institutions and the stakeholders could work together, that's also an important uh, coping mechanism. Contribution from this study that interventions uh, and programs uh, from governments uh, are expected to actually pull their efforts together so that uh, HIV prevention intervention is not coming uh, from one direction nor actually focusing on a particular factor that facilitates infection. So different factors are working in tandem to affect the local community and therefore programs should focusing on those different factors at the same time and thank you for watching me.